Good afternoon. It is Friday, December 7th, at last. I've been looking forward to the weekend for what seems like forever. Couldn't have been more than a week, I suppose, but feels like forever. Uh, <laughs> anyways, so weekend, fun, yay. Now, I got plans this evening. I'm gonna take you with me on a journey to Bethlehem. And journey to Bethlehem is basically just an interesting way to tell the Christmas story that uh, one of the larger churches in the area um, puts on uh, every couple years. When I was a kid, they used to do it every year. They didn't do it last year, and I think it was a couple years before that they, they skipped a year as well, so. But uh, when they do it, I, I'm always glad to see that and do look forward to it. So, doing it tonight. Looking forward to it. Also, we're already in remote site parking, so it's going to be crowded, which means probably a big long line. And uh, because they didn't do it last year, they are busy tonight. This is all the line before people even get in to get started. Um, and we're in line going back towards the back of the line. And I, uh, I haven't been outside in the cold much yet this year, so I forgot things like finding a hat. I don't have a hat. My ears will be very cold. But you know what? I'm, I'm glad to at least have a really good turnout. That's that's good. Found a way to try and keep my ears warm. I am Noah. Been given a new name. The other family. We have been waiting for you. We've been waiting for you. We're glad to see we are just outside of downtown Nazareth. We've got a very long journey ahead of us. You're all going to the same place we are, right? Where are you going? Bethlehem. Bethlehem. That is right. And for those of you who have not met me, my name is Josiah, and this is my wife Rachel. So as we travel, please make sure you keep the papers together for the longest. They're very particular as who travels on the road and they stay in the main place. Yes, we have a very long journey ahead of us, so let us stay close together. Some of our family, Joseph and Mary, are already left to Bethlehem. She is great with child and can no longer wait for her to go on a journey. Yes. So, we must be going. We know that God is gracious and He will watch over us. So, come, family of Josiah, let us make our way to Bethlehem. Let us gather and let the other family members come. The Romans are very particular about traveling in groups. Halt, Joe! It is very late to be out. And with a group this size, you must be planning a disturbance. What is the purpose of your journey? We are the family of Josiah, and we're traveling in Rome to be inscribed in the census required by your Caesar! Hail Caesar! We have to have a census in order to keep track of all you Jews. 
Ah, uh, yes, taxes. We do like taxes. We don't need any more trouble from you Jews. We demand peace along our road. You keep this family together while you travel. Guards, check their papers. Hold up your Hold papers. Hold papers up so we may check. Quickly move yes, along. Let us make our way to Bethlehem. They, they terrified me as a child. We have a hill to go over. Traveling far? Yes, we're traveling all the way to Bethlehem. You have a long journey ahead of you. Yes. And we hope to get there tonight. You. Thank you. Thank you, kind sir. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom, family. Shalom. Shalom, brother. Shalom, it's good to see you. It is good to see you as yes. well. I would like for you to meet our family. Sure. Tell them our family name. We are the family of? Josiah. 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 You do not know your family name? Oh, some of them are just a little shy. Since we're all family, we must travel to the town of our fathers for the Roman census. Uh, we're just returning from our journey. Those Romans promised peace and new roads, but they tax us so heavily. Are you required to pay heavy taxes where you live? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Down. Children, come right to the front. You're most welcome here. <laughs> I believe we are all here. Rachel, did any Romans steal our family members? No. Okay, thank you. Maybe warm ourselves at your fire. We are the family of Josiah, a simple family on the journey to Bethlehem. Yes, please join us at the fire of the sea. My name is Phoebe. We are honored to be servants of the rabbi and the scribe. Oh, I am Matthias, and this is Nathaniel. We are scribes for the rabbi Mordecai, and we are making copies of the Holy Scriptures. Family, the Holy Scriptures are God's words that have come down to us through his prophets. The Holy Words of God give us great hope and peace. And if you listen very carefully, you can hear the rabbi reading to the scribes. You look as though many of you have come from a land far from here. The Holy Scrolls are written in the Hebrew language. Perhaps you could translate some for our family. <laughs> Rabbi Mordecai is reading from the prophet Micah. For you, Bethlehem, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you is the one for me. You rule over all of Israel. That is how we know the coming of Israel. Born in Bethlehem. Bethlehem? That's where we're traveling to. Would you tell us more of our Messiah? Oh yes, over 600 years ago, the prophet Isaiah said, Behold, a virgin shall conceive, bear a son, and his name shall be called Emmanuel. Emmanuel means God with us. The prophet Isaiah also foretold, For unto you a child will be born, and for unto us a son will be given, and the government shall rest upon his shoulders, and he shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the, the Prince, Prince of, of Peace. Peace. The Prince of Peace, our Messiah. Oh, it will be wonderful when he comes. Oh, our Messiah, yes. Cannot wait till our Messiah comes. Show your papers. Family, let us move down the hill. Family down the hill. Papers, keep family. moving. Oh, look, we're traveling. Oh, family, it looks as though we must stop here. Yes. Oh. yes, you must stop here. Yeah, this stop, stop is required. Oh, we yes, come. We have a long journey. We don't have time. Well, yes, well, we have many, many people. We will together, make time together. for this stop. Oh. Come, family, move quickly, move quickly. Yes, come gather, family. You have a large, yes. very large, wealthy. Yes, we wealthy have. Family. No, we are not. We, we do not. Tell me what is, so, what is the purpose of your journey so late this evening? We are traveling for the Roman census. Ah, oh. uh, yes, Quinarius. <laughs> The governor of Syria, the goddess of our divine Caesar, and the vassal of our King Herod, in their great wisdom, have decided to take this census in the Jewish tradition. Yes. You can only be counted in the town of your forefathers. Yes, yes, yes. We, we know this. That is the reason for our journey this evening. Yes. yes, well, we are official publicans for this district, and we are here to collect taxes for Rome, as well as make a small profit. Small profit. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Enough. Trust us. The Roman Empire will take good care of you. Oh, yes, <laughs> what is yes. your family name? We are the family of? Josiah. Josiah. Ah, yes, well, family of Josiah, you do realize whose road you're traveling. Of course. 
Well, yes, we're traveling on the road to Bethlehem. No, this is a Roman road. Oh. 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 I wish to pay this in fine Roman style. So we're collecting money, and tonight you have the privilege of paying a road tax for that very purpose. Yes. But, but we're just a poor, simple family. Oh, I don't ah, think you're simple, simple indeed, but not poor, surely. Turbans. Tell me, what river are you about to cross on that fine Roman bridge? Family. Are the you Jordan lost? River, yes. It is the Jordan, of course. Yes. Yeah, so that fine Roman bridge had not just appeared. It takes money. It, will you pay a tax for crossing that bridge as well? Uh, we cannot pay a road tax and a bridge tax. Oh. You will be taxed on what we say you'll be taxed on. And we're just getting started, aren't we, my friend? <laughs> oh, yeah. yes. Shalom. Shalom. Family, another fire ahead. Shalom, travelers. Let us gather. Shalom, come. Ah, and we have Welcome a friend, a new visitor. Let us let the children gather. Shalom. Welcome. Shalom, family. All gather around. My name is Levi. My sister Lori. And my brother Libni. We are Levites. We are preparing to travel to Jerusalem. You see, only once in a lifetime does a priest have the honor of offering a sacrifice in the temple. And this time, my name was chosen. Can you imagine? Me, Levi the Levite, I get to offer the sacrifice. Whoa. It is a very special yes. honor. We're on our way to Jerusalem to take our lamb and offer to God as a sacrifice for our sin. Oh, well, kind family, as priests, you are very special. And we're just a very common, ordinary family. There's nothing special about us. Oh, family, God has a purpose for everyone. He loves you. Zephaniah recorded God's words saying, The Lord your God is with you. He is mighty to save. He will take great delight in you. He will quiet you with his love. My, what a large family. Yes, we do. We have a large family. Lots of travelers. Let's gather a little bit more together. Let's wrap around, please, family, towards me. Ah, there is Rachel. Shalom. Shalom. Come gather around the fire. It is a cold place, and I and the other servant are keeping the fire going for our masters. Thank you for sharing your fire. Who are your masters? They are very wise men, magi from the east. We have traveled great distances over desert and plain. We have a Guests, I bring you greetings from a land far from here. We are welcome to share our fire. Oh, shalom, gracious sirs. We're the family of Josiah. We're traveling to Bethlehem for the Roman census. And we are traveling because we've seen a very unusual light in the eastern sky, a star, and we're on a quest to follow it. You are following a star. It is a bright star. You can see it through the trees. Oh, fuck. We have reason to believe from our studies this star will lead us to a king. Your people call him the Messiah. The Messiah? Praise God, the Messiah. Ah, uh, we're here to see King Herod, and surely he knows who this new king of the Jews is. Oh, but do you be careful. King Herod is a very wicked man. The Magi have our gifts for the Messiah, so they may approach him and then worship him. Oh, may we see the gifts? Yes. First is the gift of gold. <gasps> oh, Befitting the king That's some gold. of kings. This, a very expensive gift, a very expensive incense, the gift of frankincense, appropriate for the priest of priests. Mm, these are wonderful gifts, my friend. <laughs> the gift of myrrh, the gift of sacrifice. Oh, do you really believe our Messiah is coming soon? Ah, uh, yes, all signs point to his coming. We will follow a star until we find him, and then we will worship him. May God bless your journey. We must continue our journey to Bethlehem. Shalom, gracious sirs. May your God lead you. We are going to rest now. Servants, keep this fire going. Come gather around the fire. Shalom. 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 Oh, hello, brother. Oh, Shalom. 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 Yes, fire. yes. I was counting sheep. How are the sheep? <laughs> yes. Shalom. Shalom. Let us come all the way oh, in, family. Come, family. We have oh, much room. Oh, Would you not smell that family. bad? I bathed like last week. Yes, yes. Come, come in closer, yes. family. Yes. This is a very nice fire, shepherds, and shalom, and may God's peace be with you. And with you too. You look like very weary travelers out late on this cold night. Come and warm yourselves by your fire. You must be cold. Oh, thank you. Yes, we are cold and very weary from traveling. We've been all the way from Nazareth, and we're anxious to see Bethlehem. Could you tell us how far Bethlehem is? 
Well, you are just in luck. It's just the next village. Oh, praise God. Did you see a young couple traveling this way? They are a part of our family, and she was great with child. Oh, yes. Yeah. She was just here earlier. You just missed it. Oh. Family, we mm. missed Joseph and Mary. Family, I'm sorry that you missed your friends, but since you're here, why not stay? Rest a while. Tell us about your journey. Oh, yes. 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 We, we have seen magi, and they told us that the coming of our Messiah may be soon. It's true, brother. Yes, yes, brother, it is true. The magi are following a special star, and they believe it's a sign the Messiah may be coming soon. Oh, the Messiah, Messiah. Praise, praise God. God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, angels. Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Great joy. Today, in the town of David, a Savior is born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. Our Messiah has been born. Oh, the miracle, the angels, the Messiah. Let's go to Bethlehem and worship. Oh, my family, our Messiah has been born in Bethlehem. The baby is here. The Messiah has been born. Let us go to Bethlehem. It is the next village family. Let us go. Let us go. Let us make our way to Bethlehem and see our Messiah. The promised Messiah is here. He's been born tonight, family. Let us go. We gotta find. I go there first. Where is your family? Oh, we just let we left him. Oh. Us. Family, our Messiah has been born in Bethlehem. We have heard from Maybe some people are more excited about this than others. We need two lines. Men over here and women over here. Ready your papers. You're just throwing me to the Romans, aren't you? Praise God. We must tell the good news. Our Messiah has been born. Our Messiah has been born in Bethlehem. We have heard from angels. Our Messiah has been born in Bethlehem tonight. Sarah, we have heard from angels. We have seen a miracle tonight. We, we've seen a miracle. Our Messiah has been born. We did see, we did see angels, family, did we not? Yes. We saw angels. Yes. The Messiah has been born in Bethlehem. Angels. Our Messiah. Yes. Our Messiah. We've seen a miracle. Our promised Messiah has been born in Bethlehem tonight. Tonight. Yes. Tonight. Yes. 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 Baby will be born. Yes. Oh, oh, great news. Yes, it is. Yes. Four babies means four taxes. Oh, enough. enough. Yeah. Oh. Rachel will pay the tax. I cannot believe you a Jew. Working for Romans! I've heard enough. Uh, I've heard enough of this family. Move through! Pay your tax and move up. Get this family moving. Pay your tax. Welcome, welcome. Do you want some goldfish? Do you want some goldfish? Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Fresh fish. We have spices to go with the fish. Spices. Best spices in all the land. My shekels. My shekels. Welcome. Would you have you seen have <laughs> have you seen angels tonight? You have seen angels in Bethlehem. Yes, it's big. Let's see if we can find room to rest. Oh, family, let's go. Yes, welcome, family. Come in. Let us see if they can provide room for us. We have a lot of room to go. Let's gather everyone. Family, let us make our way to the innkeeper and see if we can find lodging. Do you have room for our family? Unfortunately, there is no room. Because of the census, we are full. Oh. That's right. There is no room. Earlier, I had a young couple come through. And the best I could do for them was to send them out back to the stables. And I only did that because she is great with child. 
Are you Mary. sure there's no room for our very small family? <laughs> Jelly, you there. There's just no room. But, but before you are on your way, tell us of any news along your journey to Bethlehem. <gasps> Oh, sir. We do have news. Tell them who we saw when we were talking to the shepherds. Angels. angels. <laughs> yes, we saw angels and they told us that our Messiah was born here in Bethlehem tonight. Oh, the young lady in the stables. She gave birth to a baby boy just this evening. Do you think this would be the Messiah? Oh, no. To think that I sent them to the stable. If I'd have known the Messiah was coming, I would have made room. I would have prepared. I think I might have sent the Messiah out into the darkness. Yes, sir, the Messiah has been born. We heard the angels. Come, family, let us make our way to the stable. If this baby is the Messiah, we will worship him together. Oh, family, we are so blessed, so lucky. Let us all gather around and get a look. There is a baby in the stable. And that is, that's, that's Joseph and Mary from Bethlehem. And those are some of the shepherds we saw. What is it you men want? You would like to see the newborn baby? Joseph, come will you? There are shepherds here to see the baby. While tending our sheep, angels appeared to us and said tonight in the city of David, the Messiah has been born. Is this the child the angels spoke of? God's angels appeared to you tonight? Oh yes, the Messiah is here. His name is Jesus. The Messiah, family, let us worship him. And so the God of heaven entered this world as a virgin baby. Truly God and yet truly man. He came with a purpose to bring us back to him. You see, through our disobedience, we are separated from God. But our God loves us so much, he was willing to pay the price to buy us back. Some 30 years after Jesus was born, he suffered and died on the cross so that we may be forgiven. If you accept his payment for you, the power of his resurrection will give you life in heaven. Truly wise men and women still seek him. This is the final scene in your journey to Bethlehem, but it can be a new beginning for you. Psalm 130 verse seven says, put your hope in the Lord, for with the Lord is unfailing love, and with him is full redemption. Jesus the Messiah came to give you hope and peace. Our prayer is that you receive his precious gift of grace. Mm -hmm. This is Christmas. We'd love to talk with you about receiving this gift from God and to pray with you over any struggles or concerns you may be facing. When you leave here, you'll be taken to a place where you can warm up, have some refreshments, and there are people there waiting to meet you. We wish you a very special Christmas and God's richest blessings in the coming year. Shalom. Thanks so much, man. Merry Christmas. Merry glad Christmas. you're part of our family. Merry Christmas. I'm glad you came. Guys, whoa, come on in, come, come on in, welcome. Shalom. Welcome, shalom. Welcome. And we're glad you did come. The gift of Christmas is Jesus, as you've heard over and over, and he is our hope. So the scriptures we shared are true. One line in the Levite scene that I love, it says, God has a very special plan for each of our lives. And that is true. He created each one of you unique and special, and he loves you, and that's what Christmas is. God's gift of love to you through Jesus. So we want you to take Jesus, not just part of Christmas, but part of your life. If we can help you with that, we'd love to. And go in. There'll be some people here just love to pray with you, answer questions, encourage you. And please stop and share with them if we can help you. If you have a church home, go home and bless them. If you don't, please come back and worship with us here while we grow in the Lord together and try to learn more about his love. But we wish you a very Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Just got a couple of cookies. I'll grab some hot chocolate and then get the bus back to where my car is parked. That was fun. Uh, hopefully I got something to share with you um, in order to avoid causing a distraction because the, the screen on the back of the camera would cast a light on, my, on me. It's dim, but it's a light and it's gonna distract them. I actually taped over the screen. Um, so I don't really know what I got. Uh, I'm hopeful that I was recording when I was trying to record and not recording when I wasn't. Um, but still, it's always a great thing to look forward to. Journey to Bethlehem. Now, uh, it's like nine. Went out at like six, that's like three hours. Um, I'm actually 
going to head over to Nick and Bob's. They just got Smash Brothers, so I'll probably get to play a little bit of that too. How's the game? Good. How quickly are things unlocked? Not very. <laughs> you know, we're going through story mode right now. <laughs> yeah, you do need. I think you start with the good character, though, right? You start. If you with mean Kirby. Kirby. <laughs> no, I mean Ness, obviously. No, yeah, we've unlocked Isaac. He, I, I thought they, but no he was ones. in the original. I thought they had the ones. No. Nope. Nope, like even in normal Smash uh, mode. Well, yeah, this is the mode when I talk about what who is unlocked. This is obviously who I mean is for normal gameplay. Well, this but yeah, is, so Ness is there. This is not even all the characters, though. I know, but that means. I, I, but my point was, I thought he was one of the ones you started with to play yes, normally. Smash. <laughs> yes. If you're going to play against someone, that's that's what you play. <laughs> I'm a PVE kind of guy. <laughs> well, then you don't need to be joined as a group. <laughs> I feel this is so not fair. <laughs> My train left! <laughs> you didn't need that train anyways. Whatever, take Sonic Gome. <laughs> why, why Inkling though? Why, why wouldn't they allow you to play as one of the idols? Yeah, no, I played all three characters in the game. <laughs> Ness, Pikachu, and Link. And then uh, I had a match where I wasn't the first <laughs> to be out. So uh, that's practically winning. Uh, so yeah, that's, that seems like a pretty good evening of Smash Bros. I mean, what more could you ask for? <laughs> and I am home. I, uh, maybe, maybe stayed at, uh, Nick's for an hour? A little more, maybe? Watched a bit of Smash Brothers. Played a little bit, a few matches, and uh, I was like, okay, I'm good. Uh, pretty much... Got out of there. It's 11. I just got home. I smell like a campfire because of basically in order to keep people warm out there. It's right at freezing and I mean I've gone years when it was much colder. But uh, so it wasn't that bad. But I didn't think to bring a hat. It's the... Usually I'll have had things by this point in the year where I've had to stay outside for prolonged periods of time. I haven't done that this, yet this winter. I have always just gone from building to car, car to building. Um, so I didn't think like, oh, I should probably wear like my hoodie under my jacket. So I have a hood, and so I have extra things to cover my hands. It's, I just didn't think about it. Uh, so that was, that was my trial run for adapt to the winter temperatures. Um, and fortunately it wasn't much below freezing. Um, anyways, home now, smell like a campfire because they're keeping warm by fires all along the path out there. Had a great, great evening. You know, went to Bethlehem and back. Um, but always a wonderful telling of the Christmas story. It's a little cheesy, and but it's cute. And it comes from people with a really good heart. So, it was fun. But uh, it's late, I'm tired. Thank you for joining me. Join me as my journey continues. Bye.